I'd like to introduce Marilena, who was with us in 2005. And I will never forget Marilena, whose husband dragged her in <laughs> to our office. And I mean, dragged her in. I now, I'll now turn it over to you. <laughs> Hi everyone, um, I'm Marlena and I went to the Women's Therapy Center in 2005 when I was 33 years old. Um, my story is very similar to most of the girls I've spoken to that has had vaginismus. Um, you know, in my teens, never being able to put on tampons when all my friends were doing it. And then my younger sister was doing it, which was devastating to me that my younger sister could put in tampons and I couldn't. I just thought I was technically challenged. Like I went through boxes of them. You know, I would sit on the floor and my friends would talk through the door and couldn't get them in. But I didn't think anything was wrong at the time. I just figured I just don't know how to do this. And I'm, you know, there's something wrong that way. Um, and then when I went to college, I, I was very fortunate to meet my now husband in college, um, who was just great, super patient. Um, I don't think he knew quite what he was going to get into because I'm sure he figured we would be having sex uh, pretty quickly <laughs> and that did not happen. Um, I remember uh, the first time we were getting intimate and he, you know, first time for me ever, and he tried to insert a finger and I freaked out. I just stood right up and was like, what is that? That does not feel good, please stop. And he did. Um, and we kept trying. I still didn't think anything was wrong. Um, I was always very on top of my medical uh, well-being. So I would make these appointments at the OBs so I could get checkups. I wanted to make sure that I was getting pap smears. Um, but I was never able to get a successful pap smear. I remember going to um, uh, Planned Parenthood. They were never able to examine me. And every time I, they tried to examine me, I feel like that made things worse um, just because my anxiety would go through the roof. And I still remember when I would schedule the appointments, I would sweat for like two weeks beforehand. So after a while, I would only schedule the appointments like two days before. So I didn't worry about them for the entire you know, two months prior but never any success with OBs. Um, you know, I've had, again, we, I went off to college, we would attempt intercourse, it just wouldn't work. It was like hitting a wall. We would try, we were very passionate, just didn't work. Um, and at that point, I mean, I thought something was wrong, but again, had no clue what this was. I had never met anybody that had a problem like that. All my friends were having sex, my sister was having sex. Everybody in the world seemed like they were having sex, except for me. Um, so I went to an OB and she was like, oh, you just need to relax, you know, the usual story, drink some wine. And I did. And we had a very memorable night where I drank so much wine that I got very sick. And needless <laughs> to say, nothing happened that night. <laughs> nothing. Now, I feel like where I'm blessed is my husband was super, my boyfriend at the time, super patient. Um, we were able to have oral sex, which was very satisfying. So that kind of kept us digging into the condition at bay because we were satisfied. So we didn't feel like anything was missing. Um, the kicker was when we got married and we were married, you know, for years, uh, seven years. And everybody kept asking the question of when are you having kids? When are you having kids? When are you having kids? And you know, we would just kind of play it off like we weren't ready and we were waiting and went to see another uh, OB who recommended that I see uh, a sex therapist, which was one of the weirdest places I've ever been to. Um, she would tell me that I just wasn't comfortable with the words like vagina and to just start saying things like vagina and different body parts, which seemed outrageous to me. But we did that. That did not work. Um, I finally found another OB who the first time actually wrote my condition down on a piece of paper. I remember her writing down vaginismus. So now at least I had a name for the condition. And of course, thank God for the internet at the time. I was 32 at the time. Um, finally Googled it, saw vaginismus and the Women's Therapy Center um, pulled up. I remember I was at my friend's apartment who lived in Brooklyn at the time. I live in upstate New York. So again, feel very blessed that I'm 
in a close proximity to these women. Um, my friend lives right in Long Island. And I said, geez, Rose, this is like right by your house. So I took the number down. That was in 2004. I was 32 years old. And I held that number for a year. I did not call. I was so scared. Um, and that's when my husband got involved and he called and he made the appointment. And as soon as he told me, I felt like I was going to vomit. I was just so nervous about it. Um, but I ordered their book. I read the book and I finished it in like one day because everything I read was just me. I was reading about myself. So that was very comforting. Um, and we made the appointment for that following spring. Um, so spring of 2005, I went to see uh, Dr. Ross and Dr. Ditza. The first appointment was great. There was very chatty. I was like, oh, this is great. You know, um, they just sit there, they get to know you. Um, we just talked about my background and a little bit of my condition, but it was really just more about me. And then uh, they said, all right, great. Just come back tomorrow. And I'm like, okay, great. So I go back to the next day and, um, and that's when it starts. Um, you know, it, it starts pretty quickly. I signed up for the two, the two week intensive program. So I stayed at a hotel in New York um, by myself initially the first week. And, um, and they start with, you know, the anatomy of her vagina, which I never realized I was so uncomfortable with, you know, they took out the mirror and I'm like, what is happening right now? But they were introducing me to all the parts. Um, and I was freaking out a little bit. And I think the first day they finally tried to penetrate with the finger, I freaked out. And that's when Dr. Ross said, you may need some anxiety meds. And I was very against anxiety meds. I did not want to think, I didn't want to think I was a head case. I didn't, I didn't want to get on medicine. I kind of fought them a little bit. Um, and then I agreed to do uh, Xanax. And I remember taking it and sitting in the waiting room. And apparently I was a lot calmer that afternoon than I had been the morning, but I didn't realize it. And I went in and I said, geez, I don't really feel anything. And, you know, this is after they were able to to get in and do what they had to do for that afternoon session. And, and they just kind of laughed because they were like, we couldn't even touch you this morning. <laughs> you know? So the Xanax worked. Um, I was on it for the two week period. I didn't have to be on it longer than that. Um, and the second week, my husband joined me. Um, we were not able to consummate the wedding, the wedding, sorry, the, the marriage actually when we were there because at that point, then he started getting nervous about all this pressure of having to perform. Um, so we ended up having to wait until we got home where he was more relaxed. We were in our natural environment and we were able to consummate our marriage finally um, after we got home. So um, it's life changing. Uh, I was older, so I was nervous about not being able to have children. I feel like I went there right in the nick of time. It did take me a while to have kids. I kind of had a little relapse when I came home, which forced my husband to have to call Dr. Ross and Dr. Ditsa again, who then got on the phone with me. And um, I basically just started slacking on doing the homework exercises once I got home. And that was my fault. Um, but she walked me through it again. I got back on the horse, started doing exercises again. And then, then it just started to feel more natural. And a couple of years later is when we conceived our first child. And it's been amazing and life-changing ever since.